so today I want to talk about some cheap and effective ammo storage. So this will work best if you're going to be shooting the ammo within the next, let's say, 10 years. So right here I have some long-term storage, let's say between today and probably 10 years into the future. And then I also have some ammo that I would probably want to shoot within the next, let's say, two or three years. So let's talk about the longer term one first. So here I have an MTM ammo can. And this is made of a polymer and it is O-ring sealed and it's the larger 50 caliber can. And I think 50 caliber, the, the larger size cans are going to be better just because you're going to see that you can store a whole lot more in them. Um, and then there's just less things to keep track of and keep track of and less things to carry. So this one is the 50 caliber ammo can by MTM and it has these two latches on the front. These latches secure down pretty pretty easy, but you don't need a lot to secure them. It's just a little pressure and they and they pop down. They have two lockable, I guess, places for your um, for some kind of padlock. If you only have one of these flipped, the polymer is pretty strong and you're not really able to lift up the other side. So if you want to be ultra secure, you could uh, lock both of them and you would really have a hard time getting in. But honestly, with just one of these locked, you probably, let's see if I even hold this here, you probably would have some difficulty getting in. Uh, now I don't lock my ammo because um, I don't need to, but if you have a need, you could. It also has these uh, little grooves here where you could stack the ammo cans. And on the inside, um, it is O-ring sealed. Now you could, to increase your storage, uh, run some grease along this seal. Um, but inside I just have some shotgun ammo and some handgun ammo. Uh, what I have done is here, um, I've just taken a bunch of those desiccant packs and I've just kind of shoved a bunch of them in here and um, made some little slits for air. And this will basically kind of keep the humidity and the moisture out of the, out of the box. Uh, it's not a perfect solution. It's a kind of a do-it-yourself thing, but it will probably get the job done. Uh, I just have some various ammo uh, sitting in here. This is uh, some shotgun home defense ammo, number one buck. Probably do a separate video on this. Um, and then I just have some handgun ammo in here. Now, this actually fits a lot of ammo. Um, and... Uh, I'd say that this weighs about 25 to 30 pounds. Uh, so there is a lot of ammo in here. It is fully packed. Uh, I could show you how much I have in here just so that you get an idea of the kind of storage. Just, just imagine basically this whole thing filled with boxes, you know? So this, this right here, is just from this ammo that I have right here is just from one third of the box. So there's this quite a bit of ammo here, but you know, there is room for more now. In the back of the can, let's say where I have my handgun ammo, you can see in just the last part of the can, there's not a lot of width here, but I have, let's say, I don't know, 250, let's say 300 rounds of handgun ammo that I could store just in that little back compartment of the can, which is only, let's say, three and a half to four inches long. So I can put 300 rounds just back there. Honestly, you could put probably over a thousand rounds in this, in just this 50, uh, 50 caliber ammo can if you were just storing handgun ammo. Now this is nine millimeter. So if you're storing nine, nine mil, I would say you could put a hundred and, uh, sorry, a thousand rounds into this one can. I happen to be storing different kinds of ammo, but it does take a lot of shotgun ammo that I have and it stores it pretty well. So the key ingredients for good storage are going to be something that is dark, something that is, uh, not necessarily cold room temperature is fine but you don't want the temperature to fluctuate too much. It should be relatively constant, which would be, which would be preferable, but just not of 
not a lot of uh, not a lot of variation. So room temperature storage is fine. So dark um, temperature should be controlled. So inside your home, not outside, and there should not be a lot of variation. Also dry is is a big one, and I have used this basically desiccant box. Uh, desiccant packs are like the little silicon uh, silica packets, and that helps to keep the moisture out. So dry, dark, cool. Um, those are the basic ingredients to keep your ammo lasting. Now you could buy certain kinds of ammo will come in like canned packs. So like almost like tuna cans. Those are hermetically sealed. Um, and there is no way that any air is going to be getting in there. Uh, this will honestly work for decent long-term storage. Let's say between 5 to, to uh, ten, 10 years. I don't really have a need to store ammo past five years because I'm very sure that all of this is going to be shot within the next five five years. So I will rotate the ammo through here. Uh, so this system works for, for, for my needs. If you need absolute long-term storage for, let's say, 30 years, uh, you would want to probably go with those tuna can packets where everything is hermetically sealed uh, and basically it's, not, it's like not even opened. Uh, so this would be my longer-term storage. Now you could have, let's say, six of these boxes and you could store all different kinds of ammo and you could basically store everything that you have. And this is also, let's say I have four boxes of these cans here, these uh, 50 caliber cans. You know, it's less to keep track of than if I had 10 smaller cans. Um, the other solution, uh, and this would be for shorter term storage, would be something like these. And these are like the MTM uh, clear cans, and they don't have an O-ring or anything like that. But it basically is like your grab-and-go ammo. If you needed to get out quickly, you could, uh, and these also are stackable. So if you needed to get out quickly, uh, you could just grab two of these and boom, you'd have 200 rounds with you. Um, these, I guess, uh, keep the ammo compact. Now, if you look and if you compare it to like uh, 100 rounds of boxed ammo, you don't really save a whole lot of space. So there's not much space savings there. There is some. It is a little bit smaller. And maybe you could, I mean, you could definitely argue that the ammo will be safer in here. For example, if you drop this, this will most likely not open. Um, but assuming that it does not open, your ammo will probably be protected from falling damage. So it's probably a little safer inside here. Uh, this is also an MTM can. Uh, and doesn't that just look pretty? Um, this basically uh, allows you to visually see how much ammo you have, what kind of ammo you have. And uh, I also have some desiccant packs in here to just kind of keep the moisture out. But this is the same principle now. The light is allowed to be let in. Uh, so I do store these in a closet that's mostly dark. Um, but everything else applies. You know, there's some dryness going on. The temperature is controlled. Uh, it is also, it's not dark, but it's stored in, in a closet. So this would be your shorter term storage, or what I like to call your like grab and go storage. If you needed to run out of the house, you don't necessarily want to pick up a 30 pound can, but hey, this is only about three, four pounds. So you could put two of these in your range bag and be on your way. Uh, this, they also make them for, uh, for shotgun shells and every other caliber. Now, I didn't get these for free or anything. I paid for these. Uh, this is not, uh, any kind of advertisement. I just started using MTM ammo cans and then I continued to use them because I think that they're built well. And, you know, they kind of, if I, I can stack all, all of these and they all kind of work with, with, uh, with, with each other. And so I've kind of just stuck with the brand. Um, now, if something better comes along, I wouldn't mind switching, but these seem to work. Uh, this is also for shotgun ammo. Uh, also, you see the desk and packs, and you can put whatever you want in here. It takes all different kinds of rounds, training rounds, buckshot, slugs, whatever you want. You can store different kinds of ammo in here, and the same principle applies. So this is just a quick overview of some short-term storage methods and some longer term storage methods to, just to keep your ammo basically give it the optimal settings that it needs to fire well.
Uh, now, honestly, if you're shooting frequently, keeping your stuff in boxes is probably fine. If you're gonna be shooting this stuff within the next year or two years, and you keep this in your house somewhere, you could keep these in these boxes and nothing would probably happen. It would, I'm sure, work 100%. However, if you wanna just kinda of save ammo for a rainy day and you're not necessarily sure when you're gonna be at the shooting range next, or you just wanna keep your ammo in good condition and you don't wanna necessarily have everything laying around in boxes, you wanna take the next step in organizing it and protecting it, then I would go with uh, some kind of secure or dark uh, ammo box like this one or there are some shorter term options over here. So that was just a quick wrap up. I hope you guys, uh, I mean, a lot of you probably already know this, but I just wanna go over some of the quick points for optimal ammo storage and both long-term and short-term solutions. All right, thanks a lot.